Today I'm going to quickly explain the difference between making a map in Minecraft Java Edition and Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I'm Vortec, by the way. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos all the time. So, maps work a little bit differently between the two games, and I'm first going to demonstrate this in Minecraft Java Edition. Now, to make a map in Minecraft Java Edition, what you need is a crafting table, paper, and a compass. That is required. Make your uh, pattern like this with paper, throw a compass in the middle, and you get yourself an empty map. If we take this map and open it up, you'll notice at the very bottom there, I have a little icon, a little white icon. Uh, that is thanks to uh, just the recipe at large. There's nothing, every map looks exactly like that. I'll explain why that's relevant soon. This is the Java Edition cartography table. If we take this map, we can do a couple things. One, we can put it in here and we can expand it with a piece of paper, which is cool. Uh, but what we can't do is create additional maps. I'm right clicking and paper will not go. I'm left clicking, it will not go in the cartography table. So if I wanna copy this map, I always need to go back to a crafting table to make an empty map, then come back to the cartography table, throw a map in here, throw my next map, my empty map, and there we go. We have two of the same exact maps. Enter Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Now in Bedrock, maps work a little bit different. First of all, if you go up to a crafting table, you can just put nine pieces of paper in there, and no compass required, and you get yourself an empty map. Additionally, if you open that map, you'll notice there is no locator icon in the middle, and that's because this is not in fact a locator map. That is where the compass actually comes in. So you go back to the crafting table, throw a compass in there, and boom, we now have a map which has a locator icon in the center. So that's really cool. Uh, but most people don't even use the crafting table because the cartography table does everything that does and more because one piece of paper will get you a map instead of nine. And uh, you can always take it and add it, add a compass to it in the cartography table as well. And there you go. Now you have an empty locator map. Sticking to the cartography table now, uh, it has a few other features I really like. First of all, you can name a new map whatever you want. So we can call this Vor map. If we so choose, I don't know why you would, throw a new piece of paper in there and now we have, oh, oops, Vor map. There we go. Now we have Vor map here. And if I go ahead and open up Vor map, you see it's not a locator map, but what if I wanted to make a copy of it? Same deal as before. Let's go ahead and grab some paper, just like Java edition. We'll throw it in here, the blank map. We'll throw a Vor map. And now we have two Vor maps. Additionally, you can take the maps and add paper and expand them as much as you want, which is awesome. And these are not locator maps. So let's go ahead and grab our compasses and make a couple locator maps. I will say that cartography tables work a little more efficiently in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, but I didn't know how different they were until you guys told me in the comments of a recent video I did. So thank you for teaching me this lesson. I'm glad I could pass it on to everybody else. I do hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe for more Minecraft videos all the time.